So this is what we have. I'm putting these in right now, but here's what they look like right now. So they're kind of sunken down inside the grass like that. So I'm thinking that it's because they're not popping up high enough because they're three inch pop-ups. And I'm going to dig those up and make sure they're up at the right height. <sighs> Some of these are doing the same thing, a little bit down a little bit too far. So perimeter sprinklers looking pretty good. Um, so that is a shade area. It would probably be better if we maybe canceled those. Maybe this isn't shade, but that is a lot of time shade. So I could remove that one off the line um, and leave these ones on here. And there's another one in the middle over there, but it's pretty much, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. It's getting this kind of wet, but maybe not quite as much as it needs to be. So when I fix that sprinkler there, right there hopefully it will reach over here because right now it's not reaching it is not coming up high enough to where it can reach that and this is not being able to reach this area here i've got an aerator out here right now and it's this plug aerator i'm standing right here and not really getting too wet uh, but here's what we got going See how compacted it is. So hopefully aerating is going to make a difference here because it'll allow water, nutrients, and air to get into the soil now. It won't be as compacted now that I have these holes being put in the, in the ground here, just like that. You can see the plugs come out and those plugs can lay right on the ground they can stay there just like that and they'll break down as, as I mow. And uh, as time goes on, they will pretty much break down. And this is going to allow the soil to not be as compacted and to loosen up a little bit. And I'll put some fertilizer down here for you and hopefully start making this look a lot better. And I can tell uh, this area um, does have some rivets and things like that but what we can do is put some soil on top uh, level things out just put some soil and add some seed uh, and that'll look a lot better for you so all right I'll give you another video after we're done here all right so here we go this one it pops up all the way like it should and now it's spraying all the way over there can't really capture that but this one also pops up like it should. And this is getting a lot more water. It's instantly not as dry. So I feel like this is gonna help in the long term. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some seed down and I went ahead and aerated it. You can see all the little plugs and holes all over, all over this. So, yep, let's go ahead and get some topper, seed and top it. I'm gonna put some tall fescue, a tall fescue seed right here. Tall fescue mix right here, grows deep roots for durable, livable lawn. So it's got a coating technology on it that should help it a little bit better too. And I'll throw a little bit of fertilizer on this along with some topper and I'll get another video as soon as I'm done here. All right, so here I am in the front, I've got three inch pop-up that was in here next to a four inch pop-up you can see the difference it's not much but there's a difference but I'm going to raise it up because before it was way down here you can see how far down that is hopefully but if I raise if I put this four inch pop-up in here it's gonna be a lot better and I'll raise it up a little bit I'll take another video before or when I'm done with this, before I bury it. All right, before I bury this, just wanted to show you, I put it on, on a riser and I put the four inch pop up and not the three inch there. All right, so I put it back, put the sod back. So I'm gonna go and throw another layer of seed on there.
trying to bring the level of the soil up and I don't want to just do it with topper, although I could, I guess. Yeah, it'd be fine with topper. <clears throat> push this down to make it to where it's not the mound that it used to be. And that'll help a little bit. So now this thing's going to uh, spray no problem. All right, got it. Okay, so I went ahead and covered that the seed and topper here's the head so here's the other ones that need to be moved up later but that's the one that was not getting this area so I raised that up to where it's basically level with the grass now just maybe like a half inch below the surface which is perfect as you can see right here there's a piece of bark floating on top but it's right there and so you got a four inch pop-up that's watering that pretty good so this one and this one are now spraying uh, perfectly. Let me go ahead and turn that on for you. Give that a half turn. Turn that on. And that's spraying and covering all of this. I still would like to see a little bit more coverage, but at least it's not being blocked like it was before. So you can see that it's reaching up and over. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over a little bit. So there you go, it's, it's touching this area. I would like to see another head there, but I think for now it's it's gonna work. So I'm gonna move that to where it just oversprays a little bit. Right there. So now you have good coverage right here. That spray over there. So that's the extra little spot that I did. I did not include that in the estimate, but I will include it. I'll talk about it a little bit. Seed and topper on here and up against the wall all the way down there we'll see what happens with that tall fescue that seed over there will probably not come up as fast because it's in the shade more than this area but we'll see what happens so you can see that this is getting hit by water now like like i said not as much as i'd like to see maybe if there was another head right here so i could just basically put one right in the middle and it would just spray out there but I mean, for now, it's gonna do it. And you can tell in the camera, it's getting water. You can see it's starting to get a little bit of a glare on there. So after a while, I think it'll be just fine. With the amount of time that it's watering, I think we might be okay, considering it's gonna start cooling down pretty soon. We just don't want this area to ever get dry because the seed will stop wanting to sprout if this area dries out. So that's why I would like to make it to where this comes on at least two times a day. That spot way back there is not getting quite as much water as I would like to see. Um, let's see here. Let me try to move that over there a little bit more. There, it's a little bit better. Go ahead and lean this back. So that way it touches that over there now. Perfect. Just a little bit of fine tuning makes all the difference. There you go. All right, well, hopefully this helps you see that it should be a little bit better over here pretty soon, coming up. We'll go and turn this off. Make sure it turns off. I will come back next week and adjust uh, the irrigation if it is needed. If it's looking kind of dry, then I'm going to adjust it. Um, maybe even to come on on Fridays, even on the days that I'm here. So 